Hey guys, welcome to another video episode. And in this video, we are going to talk about how you can integrate your WordPress blog with Google Search Console. This is what Google Search Console homepage looks like and Google Search Console tools and reports help you measure your site search traffic and performance. It also let you know if Google find any problem with your website and you can also submit your sitemap to Google Search Console so that Google can index basically discover your website better and that's how it would help your website to be seen in the Google search result. And a lot of people would charge you like a significant amount of money just to do this for you. But if you watch this video, you can do this for your website. You can do this for your friend's website. You can do this for your client website and that too in less than 30 minutes. So this is how it works. Let me show you. So in the last video, I've showed you how to configure Yoast SEO WordPress plugin. If you have not watched that video, I would highly recommend you to watch that video to understand how to configure the WordPress plugin. This is one of the best SEO plugin out there. Now in this, you go to webmaster tool and here you get this option called Google verification code. You click on this link, Google search console, go to this next page, log in with your Google account and my website is verified. If you have not seen my earlier video, watch the earlier video to know how to verify this. So once your website is verified under Yoast SEO, you go to general. You go to features, you enable the XML sitemap, you click on this link and here you will find your XML sitemap link. Now this is one area where a lot of people find it very confusing. So you always click on this help link and then you can click on this link and this one would show you your sitemap link. So there are two sitemap, one is my post sitemap, one is my paid sitemap. I click on post sitemap and it would show me all the posts that I have. Since it's a new website, there are no posts. And again, similarly, I can do this with page sitemap, okay? So now go to Google Search Console. Let's say this is Google Search Console, right? I have already logged in. We need to verify this. So to do this, I need to log into Cloudflare. Let's log into our Cloudflare account and go to the DNS management of PowNow. Now here, what we would do, we go to Google Search Console, login and we click on whatever your website address is. Click on continue. Then what we need to do is we need to create a text record for this domain name and we need to enter this detail. So click on copy. And if you're not using Cloudflare, you can do the same settings in any of your you know domain name service provider. So here I'll click on add record. Select the TXT record. So you can type the entire website name or you can just simply type at the rate of, I'll paste the content and click on save. And this content has been added right now. I will click on verify. Hopefully this works. All right. So this worked. Now go to the property. Beautiful. So this is how the Google search console dashboard looks like for this particular website. Now the very first thing we would be doing is we'll be adding a sitemap. So click on sitemap and then we'll copy this URLs. So this one URL, click on submit and one sitemap is added. Second sitemap I'll also add. And I'll also add this sitemap index URL because this is the parent sitemap and these are the child sitemap. And when you add new blog post, it will be added under this sitemap. If you create a new page, it will be added under page sitemap. So for some reason it could not fetch, but anyways, Google will try again and it will fetch the URL again. So it should be okay. All right. So now we have added the sitemap. Let's see if we can make some changes in any of the settings. So if we go to the settings. So let's say we are not going to do this. This is something which if you change your domain name, this is what you would be using. Since there has been no crawling has been done, there are no crawl stats right now, but as you build your website, as you add new content, you would see your crawl stats. And yeah, pretty much that's it. So right now you might not see much, but as you move ahead, you know, you would see a lot of let me show you actually a few examples. So let's say 
so you can see like you know this is for an existing website where i can see a lot of data i can see my page experience data like how it is performing so these are the problematic pages that i got to know using google search console now i can start taking action and improve them similarly i can check the core web vitals and these are the number of url which needs improvement so again this kind of data this kind of free data you can get only with the help of google search console let's see what else we have so we have a lot of other features here that we can find using Google Search Console. We can find the search result performance that what is the number of click impression that our site is getting. We can change the data from here like you no know, last seven days. We can see the number of clicks. We can see the overall if our traffic is growing or you know how the search engine visibility of our website is increasing or decreasing. Now it might be a little more for many of you at the beginning. But as you go ahead, as you move ahead in your journey of, you know, being a blogger or being a webmaster, all this thing that you're doing right now would help you the most. Just creating a website and like adding content would not do enough. In fact, you should be integrating with Google Analytics, Google Search Console, and you know, you should be configuring all the popular plugin one by one so that you make most out of your WordPress website or WordPress blog. With that guys, I hope this guide has helped you to learn how to configure Google Search Console with your WordPress website. Now, if you have any question, if you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section. If you want me to do a video on a particular WordPress tutorial, let me know in the comment section below. And before you leave, do like and subscribe to this channel so that you continue getting updates about new tutorial when we publish. Plus, liking this video would help us to reach out to the more people who might need this video. With that, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. This is Harsh.